Hello game design students, this is video number three in the turret behaviors tutorial. And in the last video we created this turret sprite here and we gave it a turret behavior and we gave it an event to acquire the target. In this video we're gonna add a projectile sprite and we're gonna add some behaviors to that sprite and then add some events that actually cause the turret to uh, shoot that projectile at our player character. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to double click, make sure we're in the player layer that's unlocked and double click in the layout and we're gonna add a new sprite. And for this sprite, I'm gonna pick a different color here. Um, I'm going kind of this pinkish purple just because it stands out from what we've already done. And I'm just gonna draw, in this case, a little triangle, one that's pretty small, to kind of act as like a torpedo type thing. And I'll just dunk it in there. Now one thing we need to change with this is we need to go to this right here which is called our collision polygon. Um, but another word for it is hitbox, and so it just detects when objects are touching each other. And you can see right now our hitbox is huge. It's way bigger than what our actual bullet triangle is, so we need to change that. And then we're going to go change it on our player sprite as well. So go ahead and click one of these corners and just hit backspace, and it will delete one of the corners because we only need three for this little triangle. We'll position one here, and then the two of them at the back of the triangle, so the triangle is mostly covered. And if it's not covering the whole thing, honestly, it's not that big of a deal for this program. Um, Maybe for other ones you want to be a little more detail oriented, but in this case, really doesn't matter. Um, and that's about it. So we can go ahead and exit out of that. We want to make sure we rename this to Torpedo. And then we want to make the size 50 by 50. I've kind of found, oh, that didn't work there. I found that 50 by 50 to be a pretty good size. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to click and drag it so it's off of our layout. We don't want it to be on our layout to start. Um, but there it is. Now let's actually go change our player sprite's hitbox right now. You can see that it's already open. All we need to do is just exit out of one of these corners. Just click it in backspace and we'll get rid of it. And just drag this one up here. And you can see now our hitbox, or our collision polygon for our player sprite is all set up as well. So we have three sprites, player sprite, torpedo, and turret. We need to go to our torpedo and we need to add a few behaviors here. <clears throat> um, there's three that you should add. The first one is solid. Solid, technically optional, but I kind of like it because it helps it interact with the player character a little bit. Um, so you can choose if you want that or not. The other two that, oh, not drag and drop. The other two that you absolutely need, the first one is destroy outside layout. So when this bullet crosses outside the layout, it's just destroyed. Otherwise we're gonna have like a million little bullets or torpedoes just saved on our screen and it'll slow your game down like crazy. And then the last one you wanna do is actually the bullet behavior, which gives your torpedo bullet movement. So I'm gonna add that. Those are my three behaviors I want. Once again, solid is optional, but you'll see why it's kind of nice to have it in there. Once I have those behaviors, I need to go to my event sheet and I need to add some events that will actually cause the torpedo to be launched from our turret. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add event and we're gonna to go to turret. And if you remember from the other videos, the turret tracks our player character. Um, but it's not actually shooting anything. In reality, it's trying to shoot, it just doesn't have a projectile assigned yet. And so we're going to add that projectile right here. So we're gonna scroll down to turret, and on shoot is the one we want. So turret, on turret shoot, we wanna add an action. We wanna click turret again. We actually want to spawn a new object. So I'm gonna search for this, spawn another object. And the object we want is the torpedo. We want to spawn it on layer one, and we want to spawn it from image point one. So if you remember, we created this player layer. So we want it on player layer, which is number one. And then we created that image point on our turret. So it actually launches from a certain location on our turret. Um, and so that's going to be image point one. So once that's there, we can click done. And let's go test it out, see if it worked. There it is, it's tracking, now it's shooting. And watch what happens if it hits me. So if it hits me, it just kind of bumps my guy out of the way a little bit. Not really much, but just a little bit. But you can dodge it decent enough. Um, obviously, we're going to add some more to that. We're actually going to make it so the bullets damage our player. But right now, it'll just shoot until it's out of range. Um, a few things you can do. Okay, If you want to edit the uh, fire rate, if you want it to fire faster, you actually want a lower number. And if you want it to fire slower, you want a higher number. If you want to change how fast the torpedo is going, you just change the bullet speed and the bullet behavior, and it'll go really fast um, or really slow, whatever you want. Okay, You can choose how difficult you want to make your game. 
Um, the last thing we want to do here before we're finished up is this. Okay, I'm going to scroll way out and I'm actually going to select my turret sprite. There it is. I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and then click and drag and it's going to make different instances of my turret. And I want between five and 10 of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, what's that? Eight, yeah, eight's pretty good. Maybe I'll, nah, I think that's good spacing. Eight's probably pretty good. Um, so now I have all these different turrets and since they're the same instance of the same object, all the behaviors and stuff still apply. So as I fly through, as soon as I get close to these other ones, it'll detect me. So you just wanna put a few of those in there, make it sort of a challenging layout that you have to steer around um, and you can mess around with that. Um, but now, <clears throat> we've created our player sprite, we've created these turrets, we've created projectiles, and we have all of the behaviors and events that allow our turret to detect our player and shoot at him, which is pretty cool. So you've done great so far. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show how to add uh, an animation when the bullet hits the player character, and so it actually uh, will interact. Um, and then in the video after that, we're going to create some items for you to pick up to actually give your game an objective, right? The idea is going to be for you to pick up all of the items you need to pick up, before you're hit by a torpedo or a bullet and explode. And we'll have a little victory screen or a losing screen, depending on what happens. So um, great job on this. I will see you in the next video. Bye.